I didn't know what I wanted to do it on yet, but. is a school of diversity and there's a lot of people who really think that this was an attack on them and I didn't then again I am not someone who can actually say whether or not it's an attack on me because I'm a heterosexual I it it affects me the whole amendment issue affects me very minimally but I really believe that to stay neutral on this subject is to avoid a lot of a lot of issues a lot of things that really a lot of ugliness that people are would put across because there's just there's so many different types of people here and there's so much there's so much to see. She needs we to stay will in not in front of all of us. She's not accountable to us. Thank you. That Thank you. Me. She kept saying in, during the meeting that that's just something she was really concerned about is like fe feeling safe, people feeling safe here in Hamlet, and they should let her know because that really concerns her. But I think what what people were kind of meaning by not feeling safe in Hamlet was that they don't feel safe because she's not listening to their opinion and she's not uh, representing us. I think that the university has a social obligation to decide what it considers civil rights issues and to take a stance on them. Because this is a civil rights issue, no matter how many people want to claim that it's political. And what Hamlin is saying is that they respect the opinions of people who think this is just a political issue just as much as they respect ours. And on the surface, that sounds like it makes sense, but what it ultimately comes down to is they're giving equal consideration to a privileged group and, 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 and not giving any additional consideration to the group that is being oppressed. It's outrageous. In order to be an advocate for social justice, you have to take a stance on all issues that could even possibly be considered social justice. If this were a civil rights issue, they would be obligated to take a stance. They think this is a political issue. And that tells me that to them, whether or not I'm allowed to be married to a man I love without going through expensive and invasive surgery is a political issue instead of a civil rights issue. It tells me that they feel as though the safety of their student body is a political issue instead of a civil rights issue. They've made it abundantly clear that they're taking that stance. I feel like it'll be a better option for Linda Hansen to come out and address all of us now, but we don't ask questions here, right? We just wait for her to at least acknowledge our presence and then at the four o'clock meeting then all of us can voice our opinions then. It doesn't make any sense for one, two or three of us to go meet with her privately right now. To take a neutral stand is to dismiss the feelings on both sides, not just one. So instead of 
only dismissing one point of view, you're now dismissing both and you're pretending that neither of them are important and I think that a lot of the people on the campus feel like their thoughts and their opinion and um, what is important to them has now been pushed under the rug as if it's no longer up for discussion. Uh, Linda Hansen mentioned more than once that the decision is made as in we can stop talking about it as if it's no longer important when clearly a lot of students on this campus still feel it's an important topic to discuss. Um, I personally would rather see the university take a stand one way or another. I'm personally going to vote no, but I would be happy to see them say they're going to vote yes rather than just not take a stand at all because if I can't trust them to take a stand now, when can they take a stand? When will I be able to trust that they're going to support someone? Because right now they're just hiding. And I have to tell you, this is one of the hardest, hardest kinds of things that I have ever encountered as president. And I'm in my eighth year here at Hamlin, and I was president prior to this for five years. 